Okay, hello guys. Alright, so now we're going to proceed with custom ceiling. Okay, before we go to custom ceiling, you can go to 2D view. Okay, go to 2D view. Later, we're going to do staircase around here. So, you can drag a uh, column. Okay, you can go to floor plan, drag column. Okay, you scroll down, you will see column here. Okay, drag here. Alright, so now you can select your column. Okay. You see the sizing here. You can untick proportion. This one. You can change the size. This one, two, four, zero. Okay. This one, one thousand five hundred. Okay. And then this one, six thousand. Okay. Follow the wall height. Okay. And then you can make it inside. Can move it inside. Okay. You see the distance here between this wall on the left side. Okay. Make it. 1200 okay set it to 1200 click enter okay and then you can go back to room view okay you go to customize go to ceiling function okay and then double click your ceiling okay you will see got column here okay this is the column we add just now right so now you can try select your ceiling okay you're gonna divide your ceiling. Okay, you can use rectangle. Okay, you can use rectangle to divide it. Okay, you can start from this corner. Okay, you can zoom a bit. Okay, start from this corner. Okay, cross it to this corner down here. Okay, so you have the rectangle shape in the middle. This one. Alright. Now, you can see on your right screen, okay, this is your ceiling. You're going to drop down your ceiling, okay, drop down your ceiling. You can see in this structure layer properties, okay, you see off the top and elevation here, okay. Change all the top, uh, off the top to 3000, click enter, okay. You see your ceiling will drop down to 3000, okay. You can see up here, okay, your ceiling is up here. This part is a staircase pipe. Okay, so you can see it's like a double story uh, illusion. Alright, so once you have dropped down your ceiling, you're going to create another uh, rectangle. Okay, so you can offset. Okay, click this button, offset, select this ceiling, make it smaller size. Okay, then you can uh, type 900, click enter. Okay, this one, 900, click enter. And then you need to offset another rectangle, okay, in the middle, okay, move it inward. Then you can type 600, click enter, okay. So basically we have, uh, you have three rectangle, okay, one, two, three, okay. And then you can select the middle rectangle, just one, middle rectangle, okay. You're going to move it up a bit, so you can minus off the top, this one, 3,000 minus 300 click enter so you can see in the camera here okay it will go up 300 All right done okay next we're going to do chamfering okay so you can select which rectangle you want to do chamfer okay i will select the second one okay the middle rectangle here go to chamfer okay you can choose the chamfer type Okay, you can try one by one. Okay, so the radius you can try from 500 to 800. Okay, this one you can try an error. Okay, to get a smoother curve at the corner here, you can uh, increase the edges. This one. Make it two. Okay, so you have a smooth curve at this corner. All right. Okay, so this is chamfer. You can select the middle rectangle here. Okay, do the same thing. Go to chamfer. Okay, you go to. You can try other types also. This one is inner fillet. Okay, five hundred. Okay, you can also increase the edges. Okay, to get more smooth curve. All right. So this is chamfering. Let's say you want to do one corner only. You can untick batch edit. Select which corner you want to chamfer. Select the chamfer type. Okay, and then fill in the radius. Okay, so only this corner will change to cut 
uh, cut corner. Okay. Sorry, this one is inner fillet. 500. Okay, so this is chamfer. Now you can try uh, install LED light along the ceiling. Okay. So for LED light, you can select which rectangle you want to install, okay? And then you tick generate light strip, this one, okay? So you can see the white line, this is a light strip, okay? If you want to add more light, you can go to section edit, okay? You go to section edit, you will see these three boxes here, okay? On your left screen, you can go to section library, Go to lamp tube. Okay, there's two type only: round tube and lamp tube. Okay, you can uh, select one and then you can place it anywhere inside this box. Huh? Okay. All right. This one is lamp tube. It's a square shaped tube. Huh? Okay. And then to edit it, you can just select the tube. Okay. This is a light editing. Okay. You can rotate it 45 degree. You can adjust the sizing. Okay. You can flip. Okay, you can adjust the brightness. Okay, and then the light color, this one. The white color box, you can change the light. Huh? Right? And then, for the cornice, let's say this corner, this is your ceiling up here. This corner, you want to do cornice. You can drag a pattern from the corner line or decorative line or base molding. Okay. For curved corner, you can drag this one. Uh, go to corner line, drag wooden line number 5. Okay, drag to this box. Okay, you can select the corner line, adjust the sizing. Okay, you can rotate. Right, you can adjust the sizing. You can flip. Okay, you can change the material color. Okay, for plain color, you can go to plastic material or lacquer material. Okay, so you can change the color. Okay, so this is default mode. Let's say you want to move your LED light somewhere else freely. You want to move it freely. You can go to free mode, this one. Okay, you can move your cornice anywhere around here. Okay, same thing as the LED light. Okay, you can move here, here, anywhere. You can put anywhere, right? So this is free mode. If you want to delete, you can untick uh, generate light strip. Okay. Untick generate light strip. Okay. So it will clear out all the LED light you have done. Okay. So this is section edit. Okay. And then you're going to drop down the ceiling on the kitchen and the dining area. Okay. So you need to draw another ceiling. Okay. You can select your ceiling. Okay. You can draw polylines okay using polylines you cannot use rectangle so you need to use polylines okay just follow back the l shape okay follow back the l shape Okay, connect it to the first point you start here. Then right click to cancel. Right click again. Okay, so you will see nothing here, but uh, that's polylines around the L shape. Okay, you can select the line. Okay, you will see a button here, transfer to area. Okay, you can click transfer to area and it will become a shape. Okay, see L shape. Okay, you can select the L shape and edit it. Okay. okay, you can drop down to 3000 also. Select the L shape. See off the top here, drop it down to 3000. Click enter. Alright, so you can see look, your ceiling will align with the ceiling on the living area. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, so we have done with the ceiling on the kitchen and dining part. So now we're going to drag down light to this ceiling. Okay, for down light, you can go to material library, 
okay metro library go to electrical okay illumination you can choose any download model here okay choose any model drag to your ceiling okay you can zoom a bit okay select your download okay select your download so this is download setting okay you can rotate it 45 degree okay you can adjust the sizing maybe 120 okay and then you can adjust the thickness okay then you can adjust the position okay next you can try copy and paste the download okay you can right click okay copy and paste or you can use having okay for having you can there's four type you can use continuous this one is continuous okay right click having this one is space having okay this one is cross paving this one is misplaced all right but usually i will use the normal copy and paste method okay this one copy and just paste off like that all right or you can press ctrl c ctrl v it's the same thing Control C, Control B, then paste it off, paste it on other space here, here. Okay, done. Right, so this is another method. Right, there's another method you can try. Okay, I will create another room so you guys can see. Okay, I will go back to floor plan, create a new room here. Okay, go back to room view. Okay, go back inside a uh, ceiling function. Double click on the ceiling. So this is an empty ceiling. Okay, this method you need to do offset first. Okay, you need to offset your ceiling. Right, offset. To smaller size okay make sure you offset it to smaller size okay so once you have offset you can right click on the shape go to downlight installation okay right click on the shape downlight installation okay first things first you must tick batch edit this one batch edit okay so the light will install along the offset shape okay you see this one batch edit Okay, and then you can select the downlight model. Okay, just double click. Okay, this one, the sizing is fixed. You cannot adjust it. Okay, you cannot adjust the size. You can only adjust down here. Okay, over edge is the spacing between the lights and the side of the rectangle shape here. Okay, so let's say you want to make it further, you can increase or make it 500 so it'll go further. If you want to move it nearer to the side of the rectangle, you can reduce it maybe 200 so it will move closer to the side. Okay, so the light gaps is the spacing between the down lights. Let's say we reduce it to 800. You can see it will add more lights to it. Okay, if we increase the spacing, it will reduce the light like this. Off. Okay, so this is another method you can try. Okay, remember you need to offset to smaller size, right click, downlight installation. Okay, and then last one is uh, you can import AutoCAD file. Okay, you can double click on any empty wall. Just double click on any empty wall and then you can right click, go to import modeling, local area. Okay, you can open your study material. Okay, study material. Okay, open file number six. Okay, file number six. Okay, you can try out this tool. Okay, select one file from here. 
I will use this human file. Okay. And then this one you can select and adjust it. Long. Okay. You can make it off the wall. Let's say uh, 400. Okay. You can see. Oopsie. This one is 400. Okay, sorry, I select the wrong one. Okay, select the model. Okay, adjust off the wall. Let's say 400. So it will go out of the wall 400. Okay, like this one. Okay, if you want to add LED light along the shape, okay, you can select the model. Okay, select the model here. You go to section edit. Okay. Then you go to section library on your left screen, go to lamp tube, drag round tube here. Okay, you can drag uh, to any box inside here. Okay, and then you can select the tube, add it inside here. Okay, adjust the brightness and the color. All right. Then. Okay, so this is the outcome. Okay, so that's all for custom ceiling. Okay, thank you guys for watching.